Hi all, it's December 1st, 2022. I'm out here in the woods. It's a fresh, crisp day. You might tell by the way I'm wrapped up. Got a fire going in the cabin, nice and toasty. So I'm looking forward to getting back into that. But while I'm out here, I thought I'd do a quick little video about my off-grid water collection and hot water system. Um, there's many, many ways you could do it. There's a whole bunch of videos here on YouTube. But um, I thought I'd show you show you my setup. Because um, it's just it's just simple. It works. You know, it, it all depends on, on your budget, what you can get hold of, your requirements, um, your environment, you know, all those sorts of factors. But, you know, have a look at this and see what you think. Um, might be useful for you to if you're thinking about doing an off-grid water system so here it goes i'll show you so as you can see off my cabin roof i have a gutter system so at the end there's this down pipe which goes to this thousand liter ibc and in the top there where there's normally a screw on plastic lid. I have a, I think, I believe it's a 77 micron filter. It's um, a little custom made jobby off a chap off eBay that makes them, which is handy. It's just uh, screens out all the, all the sort of leaf matter and twigs and acorns and things like that. So that's really, really useful. So that and I've got this black sort of plastic over it. That's purely just to stop light entering the IBC, stop algae growth and things like that. And you can buy IBCs that are already painted black, but I couldn't get hold of one at the time. Um, so I just got this, this clear one and using this black plastic, and I've just sort of opened it up for the purpose of this video, uh, if it just focus. So, as you can see here on the outlet, I have just a, one of the black plastic screw on caps, which I, I made a hole in. And I've used a 22 mil copper, no actually I think it was brass, 22 mil tank connector, which has enabled me to connect a 22 mil copper pipe, which goes underneath the cabin, up into the cabin. As you can see, I've put all this sort of double thickness insulating uh, pipe insulation on, just to protect from the cold. I mean. Where I am, it's pr pretty mild. It very rarely dips below zero. So it's in, in the past couple of years, I've had I've had no issues. So it's fine. And this little uh, tap here, with a little handle, that's um, just so I can drain drain this pipe exposed to the cold air. I can drain it of any water if it, I'm expecting a. Um, the temperatures drop below zero. I can drain this pipe to so stop it freezing solid, causing any damage. So that pipe goes from the IBC underneath and then it goes up into the cabin. Okay, so we're inside now, nice and toasty. Got the fire going as you can see. Lovely. So Continuing on from outside, here we have the pipe that runs underneath the cabin and then it comes up alongside this sink here. Straight to this pump and into my hot water holding tank type thing. Now this is a, again this is 22 mil copper pipe and because of this pump is uh, 
It's basically what you'd have in a caravan or motorhome, which uses like a 12, 12 mil sort of plastic pipe connection system. So to connect it to this 22 mil pipe, I couldn't really find anything suitable. So basically I've just got this sort of plumbing copper joint thing that I found and this literally just pushes in and I've actually no problem with air drawing in or leaking whatsoever so that just works so goes in to this pump and there's an additional little sort of gauze mesh screen there for f further filtering and this is just a flow jet sort of caravan motor and water side pump which draws about one amp it's on 12 volt DC um, and as it says I don't know if you can work that out but the flow rate is 1.4 gallons per minute or 5.3 litres per minute so then the 12 mil pipe coming out there into this 85 litre water tank now that is rated to be fine with water temperatures up to 70 degrees I believe so there yeah, that's, that's fine and then the bottom corner of the tank here you can see I've drilled a hole and got another brass 22 mil tank connector which is basically enables me to uh, connect this 22 mil copper pipe to and it's just a, a connector that you put a bit on the inside a bit on the outside and it, you screw it together and it sandwiches over the hole so this just gravity feeds water down to my sink and just you know, a basic valve. Simple, that's all you need. So this other pipe you see here is where the hot water thing comes in, which I'll show you now. So we're around to the other side of the hot water tank now. This is the outlet. You can see I've got another brass 22 mil connector here, connecting this outlet pipe. And you see that there's another pipe running off to the left there, which I'll explain shortly. So the hot water tank is full of the initially cold water from the IBC outside. So it just gravity feeds out the bottom of this tank, down this pipe. And you see I've, I've connected it to uh, an adapter and it goes to 15 mil initially because I was going to wrap 15 mil of copper pipe around the flue but that didn't work out too well um, around this 5 inch flue so if we can go around here it drops down to 10 mil and I have 20 meters of 10 mil copper pipe wrapped around this flue. So there's two 10 meter sections joined in the middle. And that basically wraps, uh, there's a, a really tight wrap, all bunched together, touching each other, all around this, all around this five inch flue. And then, which comes out the top, and this is insulated with more insulating foam just to sort of hold hold its temperature a bit better be a bit more efficient and then as you saw earlier then it comes out and feeds into the top so these two the water inlet and then the hot water inlet is basically just goes into a hole in the the plastic lid on the, on the top so you can see the water level is sort of about three quarters, two thirds at the moment. So um, this the system works. You know, whatever level of the water is, you know, it works. 
you might have heard a few gurgles and gargles throughout this filming inside here. That's just the hot water system working. You can see all the stove going here. Now, perhaps I'll put up some photos um, of me building this. Um, so initially I just had the 10 mil pipe wrapped around this flue and got the fire going. Um, yeah, and it sort of works, but it was a bit sluggish. Um, it was just, you know, obviously being bare copper pipe, it was, it was heating up very well, but it was radiating out a lot of heat. So I thought, I'll try and make it a bit faster, a bit more efficient. So I got all of this sort of, I think it's about an inch, two inch thick ceramic wool blanket. And I've just wrapped it round and used this sort of high temperature, like exhaust wrap stuff, whatever it's called, um, just to sort of tie it on and keep it there. And as soon as I did that, it was just work like absolute treat there we go uh, I've just got some chilies drying there yeah anyway so this back onto this bit, uh, other bit of pipe here I said I'd explain so now this connection that goes off to left ear that goes to a shower that I have set up which is basically runs to another one of those 12 volt DC flow jet pumps but runs at a higher pressure it gets a bit bit more throughput so then when I want to have a shower I just close this off and then open this out to go to the shower like that so then it just empty this tank out to the shower now consideration I had before was to put a ball cock in this water tank with an actuator to be able to uh, to the power switch well actually yeah there's the power switch you hear the pump filling now fill in the tank I'll just turn that off yeah so my consideration was to have a ball cock in the water tank with an actuator to activate the power to the water pump to switch on you know when it drops to a certain level um i thought about that but then i thought if i was having a shower if i was having a sort of long shower then you know it's going to come on it's going to start filling with cold water you know at the moment these outside temperatures, the water temperature is only sort of four or five degrees currently. Um, so yeah, that won't be a very pleasant shower. It just starts getting colder and colder. So I decide against that. And you know, as I said before, it's just simple setup. It works. This is all. That's all I need really. So there you go.